We have all shared the stories, spoken the words about the communities, the neighborhoods that once were Brooklyn, the people who are actively being displaced, Cherry. We harp on the memories, give love and light to their legacies. We prepare for the catastrophe that almost always comes with being erased. A fault is a fracture or disruption in the planet's surface. It's where the movement and displacement occurs. A fault line holds on to the pressure. It's holding everything together until the tension becomes so great that it literally rocks the earth, causes a convulsion, an earthquake, a tsunami, a disaster of grave proportions. It's the tiny cracks that form lines of division that create the disasters that result in disruption. And we speak their stories, tell the tales of the people and families that once occupied this land, Catawba, Sugary, name whole towns after them, Waxall, and roads and streets, Tuckasegee. We wade in their waters, Sugar Creek, have benefited from their traditions, a good old Southern city where the living is easy. We forge forward in the name of urban renewal, with trains and tracks that slice through entire neighborhoods, Optimus Park, that displace whole families and generations of people who have lived and worked there, Enderly Park. We uproot stories and history without a second thought of the experiences and memories created by the people who built their communities with creativity and care, Wilmore. And every time that the people are erased, Brook Hill, families are left out in the cold Biddleville, beneath the surface Lockwood, beyond the visible Smallwood, a crack is exposed. The plates begin to shift. Nature is taking its course. You cannot think that you can disregard the most vulnerable yet resilient of your city and not be met with a catastrophic force and not come face to face with the consequences of your actions. When what is in the ground can stay there no more, the people erupt, movements happen, perspectives shift, cities shake, lives are changed and earths will quake. We speak their stories, discuss with candor how they can no longer afford to live there now, Noda, about how their homes are purchased for pennies and torn down and rebuilt First Ward, turn what meant something valuable to somebody's grandma, Greer Heights, into condos and townhomes, half a million dollar builds, Seversville. Disregard the irony of stripping yet another people from their home. Another crack reveals itself from beneath the surface. Another black community erased and displaced. A city with a crisis of consciousness. Another neighborhood goes up for purchase. Another family out on the streets, ousted to the outskirts of the city or to the places without access. Now those who can't afford it are privileged to live in the ugly houses turned to pretty, the fault lines exposed. What a beautiful mess. We tell the stories of the city as we work for better days and respond with hope and courage. We fight injustice, but we cannot ignore the cracks that have always existed beneath the surface. And if we are to prevent greater disaster, if we are to save our communities while there is still time, we must go back to the difficult truths that exist beneath us. We must follow the stories through the fault lines. <laughs>